Let us now pray the Oratio Imperata for protection against COVID-19. Please all kneel. Merciful and compassionate Father, we come to you in our need to seek your protection against the COVID-19 that has disturbed and claimed many lives. We ask you now to look upon us with love and by your healing hand, dispel the fear of sickness and death, restore our hope, and strengthen our faith. We pray that you guide the people tasked to find cures for this disease and to stem its transmission. We thank you for the vaccines developed, made possible by your guiding hands. Bless our efforts to use these vaccines to end the pandemic in our country. We pray for our health workers that they may minister to the sick with competence and compassion. Grant them health in mind and body, strength in their commitment, protection from the disease. We pray for those afflicted. May they be restored to health. Protect those who care for them. Grant eternal rest to those who have died. Give us the grace in these trying times to work for the good of all and to help those in need. May our concern and compassion for each other see us through this crisis and lead us to conversion and holiness. Grant all this through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. Amen. Amen. We fly to your protection, O Holy Mother of God. Do not despise our petition in our necessities, but deliver us always from all dangers, O glorious and blessed Virgin. Amen. Our Lady, Health of the Sick, Pray for us. Saint Joseph, Pray for us. Saint Raphael the Archangel, Pray for us. San Roque, Pray for us. San Lorenzo Ruiz, Pray for us. San Pedro Calungsod, Pray for us. Please stand as we begin our Eucharistic celebration. I will pray to you, O Lord, for a time of your favor. In your great mercy, answer me, O God, with your salvation that never fails. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. My dear brothers and sisters, let us prepare ourselves to celebrate the mysteries of God's love. Let us call to mind our sins and beg the forgiveness by which we are renewed and saved. Have mercy on us, O Lord, for we have sinned against you. Show us, O Lord, your mercy and grant us your salvation. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Let us pray. O God, who reward the merits of the just and offer pardon to sinners who do penance, have mercy, we pray, on those who call upon you, that the admission of our guilt may serve to obtain your pardon for our sins, through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. Please be seated. A reading from the book of the prophet Isaiah. Thus says the Lord, In a time of favor I answer you. On the day of salvation I help you. And I have kept you and given you as a covenant to the people. 
to restore the land and allot the desolate heritages, saying to the prisoners, Come out, to those in darkness, show yourselves. Along the ways they shall find pasture, on every bare height shall their pastures be. They shall not hunger or thirst, nor shall the scorching wind or the sun strike them. For he who pities them leads them, and guides them beside springs of water. I will cut a road through all my mountains, and make my highways level. See, some shall come from afar, others from the north and the west, and some from the land of Syene. Sing out, O heavens, and rejoice, O earth. Break forth into song, you mountains. For the Lord comforts his people and shows mercy to his afflicted. But Zion said, The Lord has forsaken me. My Lord has forgotten me. Can a mother forget her infant, be without tenderness for the child of her womb? Even should she forget, I will never forget you. The Word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. The Lord is gracious and merciful. The Lord is gracious and merciful. The Lord is gracious and merciful slow to anger and great kindness. The Lord is good to all and compassionate toward all His works. The Lord is gracious and merciful. The Lord is faithful in all His words and holy in all His works. The Lord lifts up all who are falling and raises up all who are bowed down. The Lord is gracious and merciful. The Lord is just in all His ways, and holy in all His works. The Lord is near to all who call upon Him, to all who call upon Him in truth. The Lord is gracious and merciful. Please stand. Pagkabuhay, ako'y buhay, Ay na sino man ako'y pinapanaligan, ay di mapapanaigan ng kamatayan kailan man. The Lord be with you and with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. Glory to you, O Lord. Jesus answered the Jews, My father is at work until now, so I am at work. For this reason they tried all the more to kill him, because he not only broke the Sabbath, but he also called God his own father making himself equal to God. Jesus answered and said to them, Amen, Amen, I say to you, the Son cannot do anything on his own, but only what he sees the Father doing. For what he does, the Son will also do. For the Father loves the Son and shows, himself, shows him everything that he himself does, and he will show him greater works than these, so that you may be amazed. For just as the Father raises the dead and gives life, so also does the Son give life to whomever he wishes. Nor does the Father judge anyone, but he has given all judgment to the Son, so that all may honor the Son just as they honor the Father. Whoever does not honor the Son does not honor the Father who sent him. 
Amen, Amen, I say to you, whoever hears my word and believes in the one who sent me has eternal life and will not come to condemnation, but has passed from death to life. Amen, Amen, I say to you, the hour is coming and is now here when the dead will hear the voice of the Son of God and those who will hear will live. For just as the Father has life in Himself, so also He gave to the Son the possession of life in Himself. And He gave Him power to exercise judgment because He is the Son of Man. Do not be amazed at this. Because the hour is coming in which all who are in the tombs will hear His voice and will come out. Those who have done good deeds to the resurrection of life, but those who have done wicked deeds to the resurrection of condemnation. I cannot do anything on my own. I judge as I hear, and my judgment is just because I do not seek my own will, but the will of the one who sent me. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Please be seated. My dear brothers and sisters, The context of our first reading today is the exile of the people of Israel. They were driven out from their own land and was brought to Babylon, a foreign land. And while in Babylon, they were anguishing, they were in sorrow, and so as we heard in our first reading today from the book of the prophet Isaiah, the people of Israel was pouring out their sorrow and anguish to God. They said, the Lord has forgotten us. The Lord has forsaken us. Dahil sa kanilang hirap na dinaranas, sinabi nila, kinalimutan na tayo ng Panginoon. Pinabayaan na tayo ng Panginoon. And what was the response of God to the outpouring of the sorrow of His people? The response of God was very consoling. God tells them, Can a mother forget her infant? Be without tenderness for the child of her womb. Even should she forget, I will never forget you. We are very familiar with these words of God. Malilimutan ba ng ina ang kanyang anak? Malilimutan ba ng ina ang nanggaling sa kanyang sariling sinapupunan? Kung meron mang ina na nakakalimot sa kanyang anak, sabi ng Diyos, hindi ko kayo makakalimutan. I will never forget you. My dear brothers and sisters, our God is a God who never forgets us. And what is the best proof for that? The best proof that, that God does not forget us is Jesus Himself. And in our Gospel today, Jesus talks about His intimate relationship with the Father. And because of this, He was accused of blasphemy because he was talking that of, of himself as the son of the Father. This will be one of the accusations against Jesus 
when he eventually would be judged. Jesus is the proof that God never forgets us. Everything that Jesus does is the work of the Father. Jesus himself said in our gospel today, I do not do things on my own. I only do what I see the Father doing. Hindi tayo nakakalimutan ng Diyos, kaya niya isinugo si Jesus para ipakita sa atin ang mga gawain ng Diyos. At lahat ng ginagawa ni Jesus, lahat ng itinuturo ni Jesus, ang buong buhay ni Jesus ay pagpapakita sa atin ng pagmamahal, pagkalinga ng Ama. God never forgets us. And He is true to His words to His people. Can a mother ever forget her child? Even if she forgets, I will never forget you. Today, my dear brothers and sisters, is an important day for our country and for our church here in the Philippines. Because on this day, 500 years ago, the Spaniards, led by Ferdinand Magellan, first set foot on our lands, on our soils, in Homonhon Island in Samar. On March 16, they caught sight of Homonhon Islands. And it was on March 17, 1521, when they first set foot on our soils. No? Una silang tumapak sa ating lupa. And this is very important, not only historically, but also in our life as Christians in the Philippines. Because this is the very first encounter that we had with Christianity. And that was the beginning of Christian faith in our country. And today we celebrate the 500 years of the arrival of Christianity in the Philippines. A very special day because by God's divine, by the divine providence, by God's mercy, by God's graciousness, He gifted us with the Christian faith, something that we should be grateful for. And in the context of our readings today, we could say that that is God's way of telling us I do not forget you. Even if we are very far from Europe, God found a way in order for us to discover the faith and to encounter Him. There may be many reasons for the arrival of the Spaniards, but God used those reasons in order for us to know Him. He never forgot us. He never abandoned us. Gumawa siya ng paraan para maipakilala ang Kanyang sarili sa atin at para tanggapin natin ang biyaya ng pananampalataya. Truly, God never forgets his people, God never forgets us. And so my dear brothers and sisters, next time that you feel like the Israelites who were in exile, next time that you feel neglected, forsaken, abandoned, and forgotten by God, sa susunod na sasabihin mo sa iyong sarili, Nakalimutan na yata ako ng Diyos. Kinalimutan na yata tayo ng Diyos. Pinabayaan na yata tayo ng Diyos. Let the words of God through the prophet Isaiah reverberate in our minds and our hearts. Let God tell you, can a mother ever forget her child? 
But even if she forgets, I will never forget you. Hindi kita malilimutan. You are always in my mind. You are always in my heart. Please stand. As we bring our petitions before the altar of God, let us ask for the strength and faith to abide by His will. For every petition, let us say, Lord, hear our prayer. Lord, hear our prayer. That the Church may guide her members in the path of goodness and bring them to God's love. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer that we may turn away from sin with all our hearts and be obedient to God's laws. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our prayer. prayer, that all those who are undergoing trial and persecution on account of their faith may persevere and trust in God. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer, that we may follow the example given to us by Jesus and conform to the will of God. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our, our prayer, prayer. That the dead may finally receive God's promise of eternal life. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. Let us pray in silence for our own petitions. Let us remember the people who need our prayers and the intentions offered in this Mass. Heavenly Father, help us to align ourselves with your will so that we may live in the manner you desire. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Please be seated. Please stand. Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may become acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of His name, for our good and the good of all His holy church. May the power of this sacrifice, O Lord, we pray, mercifully wipe away what is old in us, and increase in us grace of salvation and newness of life through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you and with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and eternal God, for through bodily fasting you restrain our faults, raise up our minds, and bestow both virtue and its rewards through Christ our Lord. Through Him, the angels praise your majesty, dominions adore and powers tremble before you. Heaven and the virtues of heaven and the blessed seraphim worship together with exaltation. May our voices, we pray, join with theirs in humble praise as we acclaim. Holy, 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 Holy Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. 
Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord, O Sana in the highest. Please kneel. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks broke it and gave it to his disciples saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. Please stand. The mystery of faith. When we eat this bread and drink this cup, we proclaim your death, O Lord, until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis our Pope and Broderick our Administrator and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy, welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles, with Saint Patrick, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life, and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him, and with him, and in him, O God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. Let us ask the Father to forgive our sins, and to bring us to forgive those who sinned against us. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. 
the peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. Please kneel. Behold Jesus, the Lamb of God. Behold Him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the Supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy, worthy that, that you should, should enter, enter under, under my roof, roof but, but only say the word, word and my soul, soul shall be healed. The body of Christ. Amen. Act of spiritual communion. My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament. I love you above all things and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen. Please stand. Let us pray. May your heavenly gifts, O Lord, we pray, which you bestow as a heavenly remedy on your people, not bring judgment to those who receive them through Christ our Lord. Amen. We wish to invite you to our weekly Healing Rosary for the World, which will be tonight at 9 o'clock on our Facebook page, The Manila Cathedral. And the host of our Rosary tonight will be the parish community of St. John the Baptist in Homonhon Island in Samar. It is fitting that as they celebrate today this important milestone in our history as a people, and as a church, we will pray the rosary from the land where uh, the Christianity was first encountered. And so we invite you tonight at 9 o'clock, let us come together, let us gather as a family and pray the Holy Rosary. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Bow your heads and pray for God's blessing. May your servants be shielded, O Lord, by the protection of your loving kindness, that by doing what is good in this world, they may reach you their highest good through Christ our Lord. Amen. And may Almighty God bless you, the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go forth, the Mass is ended. Thanks be to God. Today